we're gonna make some corn now with a piquillo pepper butter. But first, I wanna get the corn onto the grill. What I did was I took the silks out of the corn, which are inedible anyway, then I recover it with some of the husks, okay, to protect it from the grill, put it in water so it creates moisture, so it doesn't dry out, and put it right on top of the grate. I love grilled corn. I'm gonna make some piquillo pepper butter. I'm gonna use piquillo peppers. They look like roasted red peppers, but they're thinner, and I utilize these sometimes, like I'll put some sort of uh, salad in there, like a tuna tartare or maybe a salmon tartare inside of them and just fill them. It makes a fantastic appetizer. But today, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a butter out of them to slather on top of our grilled corn. Some softened butter, unsalted. The piquillo peppers, a little bit of raw garlic. Some smoked paprika. Some fresh thyme. Another ingredient used a lot in Spanish food, all over the Mediterranean, of course. And then some salt and pepper. It's gonna make a really sort of pale red color, just gorgeous. We get our butter out. And we're gonna leave this out so it's room temperature so that when our corn comes off the grill and it's still warm, we can slather this right on top of the corn. Let's see if the corn's ready. See how the corn is charring? It's just protecting it. But also, you know, the flavor of the charred husk is gonna become part of the corn. It's gonna give it a really nice smoky flavor. All right, so we're gonna take the corn off here. It smells great. See how the corn is kind of steaming, right? And you just take your piquillo butter and you slather it on. It just melts on top of the corn. A little sprinkle of salt. And then some manchego cheese. Manchego is a Spanish cheese that I just love. Looks amazing. A little bit of fresh thyme. Some black pepper. Look at that. Mm. Keo peppers, manchego cheese, a little fresh thyme, and some black pepper. It's all good. And I love the garlic in that keo pepper butter. I'm telling you, the garlic is the key.